Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we're going to be discussing Taylor Swift's shows in Milan. We're also going to be discussing some of Taylor Swift's Instagram activity as of late, what Travis and his brother Jason Kelsey got up to over the weekend. So let's start with recapping Taylor's shows in Milan. She played, I believe, on Friday night and Saturday night, If I, or maybe it was Saturday. No, I think it was Saturday and Sunday night she played in Milan. It's all kind of confusing because, again, she's been playing during the week and she's been taking off some days over the weekend at times, so it can kind of get a little bit confusing. But she played two nights in Milan, Italy. And as always, we have to recap the surprise songs that she chose to sing. No major, major guests or appearances. Travis Kelsey, as we'll get to later, was not in attendance, but she did do some excellent, in my opinion, excellent surprise songs. So for night one, she started off with a mashup of The One and Wonderland, which I think is such a fun mashup because The One is a great song off of Folklore. One of my favorite songs. Wonderland is such an interesting choice because that was a bonus track off of 1989. And I I always like when she, not only when she obviously mixes eras and times, but when she takes a song that was a feature on an album and then puts it with a song that maybe was a bonus track or didn't get as much love or attention. I just think it's, I just think it's fun. And I like both of those songs a lot. Um, I feel like Wonderland, I feel like all of the bonus songs, honestly, on 1989, should have been on the actual album because they're all so good, New Romantics. Um, But Wonderland is a good song. So that's a great mashup. And then she did on the piano a mashup of I Almost Do off of Red and The Moment I Knew. Both great songs, more sort of emotional songs. I just think that's a fun one. I think that's a good one. That's a very, very strong um, surprise song lineup. For night two, she started off with a mashup of Mr. Perfectly Fine, which is one of the vault tracks off of Fearless, and Red. Now, I still to this day, I'm a Red stan as a song and the album. It's my favorite album. I, I've always felt like, I know she plays the hits during the Red section of the Eras Tour. 22, um, We Were Never Ever Getting Back Together, I Knew You Were Trouble, All Too Well, obviously. I understand why she made the choices she made when it when it came to deciding what songs to put in the set list. However, I'm such a fan of that album and I'm such a fan of so many of like the album tracks like Holy Ground. Um, I mean, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with Treacherous. I love that song so much. Um, I almost do is a great song. There's just so many songs, State of Grace, that are so good that I wish was were actually in the um in the main show. And and Red is a song that I feel like of all of the ones that she left off is like the most deserving of being in the actual set list cuz it just it, it's it's like the right song for a stadium. I don't know. Taylor, if you're listening, <laughs> add Red to the set list if you can, if you want. I mean, you play so much already, but like I love that song. So as a mashup, I think it's great. And then she did on the piano, Getaway Car, mixed with a bit of Out of the Woods, which (sighs) Out of the Woods, again, another song I kind of wish was in the real or in the actual set list. Love that song. And Getaway Car as well. Such a good song. So we always play the game, which which night would I rather have been to given the the, surprise song choices and I think I would have picked night two just because every single one she picked is like 10 out of 10 for me personally but again as always let me know in the comments which night you would have preferred I believe now so she has a few days off and then I believe she is going to Germany I could be wrong about that but I'm pretty sure she's going to Germany um she's nearing the end of the era store we are we are reaching the last few weeks I mean I I know she plays through um the end of August and I think she finishes this sh- the tour or the European section of the tour in London I think I could be wrong about that um so you know she still has a month plus left but given the fact that she's been doing this for quite some time she's kind of in the home stretch um which is which is crazy I for one am excited I obviously have been loving this tour so far and all the things that have happened on the tour but I am looking forward to getting back to the Taylor Swift football era and her going to Chiefs games 
um, that that was just so much fun last year. And we, as you know, a show, haven't been able to cover, except for the Super Bowl, haven't really covered much of the Taylor Swift football era. So it will be fun to go through that journey together um, of her going back to Chiefs games. Can't wait for that. Um, speaking of Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes announced last week that they are expecting their third baby. They have another child on the way, which is very exciting. They shared the news with a very cute Instagram video with their um, two kids, Sterling and Bronze. And Taylor Swift herself liked the post on Instagram. Now we know Taylor Swift is not one to, she doesn't follow anybody on Instagram. She doesn't like very much stuff on Instagram. So when she does like something on Instagram, it's very meaningful, impactful. And she liked it almost right away. Like very, very shortly after the video was posted, Taylor liked it. Um, which I always wonder because she doesn't follow anybody. I always wonder if she like intentionally looked for the, po like knew the post was coming, searched for it and liked it. Or if it just like popped up on her feed somehow. Um, but Taylor's always, we, we, we saw her friendship with Brittany really, I don't know. Um, we like saw it kind of grow over time, uh, over the course of the chiefs football season. Um, and we haven't seen as much of Taylor interacting with Patrick, but I have to imagine that they have become good friends as well. So you just love to see Taylor supporting Travis's friends. And honestly, at this point, family, like I think Patrick Mahomes is like a brother to Travis Kelsey. So Loved that. Congrats to Patrick and Brittany, another baby. Very, very exciting. And, but that wasn't the only, you know, Instagram activity that Taylor did or t Taylor was was um, participating in over the weekend because she also was liking posts about Travis Kelsey being voted the number one tight end in the NFL, uh, according to ESPN. And so she liked a couple of different posts regarding um, that exciting news. And again, Taylor is somebody who ever so often when the Chiefs, you know, got their Super Bowl rings, she's done it a few other times she will uh, she, she she's not afraid to show some love on social media and she and she knows that when she does like something like it really means something because she doesn't throw around likes just for fun you know it really means something so that was always very sweet and cute to see and Travis does it too Travis is always liking things and supporting Taylor Swift which social media is not the end all be all but it is very nice to see speaking of Travis I, I mentioned that he was not at the Eras Tour this past weekend because he was at a charity golf tournament in Lake Tahoe. He was there with his brother, Jason, having a great time, enjoying himself. We know Travis loves himself some golf. Um, and there were a couple of moments where he was caught dancing to Taylor Swift, specifically one that I love the most, which is, Ta or which is uh, Travis and Jason both singing along to I Can Do It With A Broken Heart, which is obviously the song that um, Taylor performed right after Travis Kelsey came on stage at the Eras Tour. And it's also Jason admitted on their podcast. It's also one of Jason's favorite Taylor Swift songs. Um, and again, just the Kelsey's are just awesome. They're just great. They embrace it. They love it. They have fun with it. Um, and it must be so weird too. Maybe not weird, but I just can't imagine being out and about and then all of a sudden you just hear your girlfriend's song being played. I don't know. I mean, it maybe isn't that strange because Taylor Swift was Taylor Swift before she became Travis Kelsey's girlfriend. <laughs> um, so he like knew her as a superstar before they even started to date. But it is just like a crazy, it's just yeah fun fun funny thing I guess I don't know anyway so that's what Travis was up to this weekend I don't know tr uh, we have Chiefs training camp in like very 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 soon I think like next week perhaps is when training camp starts I could be wrong about that exact date so Travis is going to be like basically unavailable for the month of August um late July into August. So I do wonder if he's going to get back to Europe for one last hurrah before he has to get back to Kansas City and get back to Chiefs training camp. Um, if he is coming, it's probably going to be this week, I would assume. Um, so yeah, this might be the last time we'll see Travis at the Eras Tour before maybe he'll get to go to some shows uh, in the fall if it works out with his football schedule. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so who knows? Who knows? And then we'll be in a Tavis drought 
for a good chunk of time. But then we'll get back into the football and it will all be fine and great and wonderful. So we will have to wait and see what happens this week with with all of that stuff. Um, but as always, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed already, follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.